Greetings Republic, Dr. Pierce here and I have with me Jill Perkins and Jill is a sixth grade teacher in our middle school. Uh, Jill's been on our committee and so I'm going to ask her a few questions about what she's experienced and, and what she hopes for, for the new potential building of a fifth and sixth grade uh, center to look like. So welcome Mrs. Perkins, it's good to have you. Tell us a little bit about the processes that, that the architects have used to gather input from people and, and help guide their decision making. So we've been able to be a part of a committee that has done quite a bit of work to help build this design process and there's people from fifth and sixth grade teachers to building administrators. There's quite a large team that has gotten to be involved in this which is really awesome. We have visited some area schools in southwest Missouri as well as Kansas City to kind of check out design elements and see what would be best for fifth and sixth grade students and teachers. Um, we've also got to take part in some processes of activities of what we want to do. The architects have been able to really work with us as a district to see what is going to meet our needs the best. So those activities have really allowed for us to dive deeper into what that might look like for Republic. Great, so I know we haven't designed the whole building yet, but to this point, what are some themes that, that you're hearing from teachers and parents and kids that, that we want to or hope to see in, in this building? Yeah, so throughout our visits and conversations, we have even were able to get some kids together to share their ideas and it was neat how the kids and the teachers are seeing some of those same themes like a lot of natural light and some collaborative dedicated spaces for students to uh, step outside of the classroom and let it breathe a little bit so if they are doing small groups or projects they can maybe flex out of the classroom a little bit to do that work so that's been really neat and just bright colors and things like that right so um, thinking about uh, maybe being a teacher in this building, what would you what would you hope to see? Uh, thinking of through those themes, what would you hope to see in the final designs of the building that that you're really looking forward to? I think just a lot of a lot of that natural light coming into our classrooms and being able to maybe even step outside. We've talked a little bit about some outdoor spaces that would be utilized for things and being able to showcase student work in certain areas of the building will be really neat and being a PBL teacher, project-based learning teacher, just being able to push kids out into that collaborative flex space so they can really truly work on their projects. Outstanding. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day.